Greetings everyone, I've returned to Universal Studios Hollywood and I'm just so excited to be here. Yes! Let's get to it. everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. I wanted to talk to you guys about something, a little experiment I wanted to try because I used to be a man of science. The science is still baked into me as I'm in the dark and there's light behind me. I'm still learning how to do all this. Anyway, uh, how many years has he done it? Who knows? But I want to try something a little bit different. I want to try for a shorter vlog today to see if people like that, more bite-sized, try to keep it up to 10 minutes, see how it goes. And bam! We're gonna be riding that soon too. Oh boy. I'm sticking to the lower lot today because I love the lower lot most and right now at the time of this recording we are in peak summertime. It's kind of uh, getting close to sunset but I want to hit up my three favorite attractions down here. I mean the three only attractions down here right now until Super Nintendo World pops up. Let's start off with Transformers the Ride 3D. Oh yes, here we go but guess what? We're gonna be coming back here and right now. Mummy's sitting at 75 minutes. Oh boy, that's rough. Heading on into Transformers the Ride 3D. Looks like a 60 minute wait. Oh boy. Thank goodness I have Express. Aww. It's my buddy Megatron. He's on TV. What if he was on a Mega Megatron? Megaton? What? Those TVs? Megatron? You know what I'm talking about, guys. You know what I'm talking about. The safety briefing is very, very important. As you can see, these are the, uh, what was it? What, what do they call the Spider Man? What's the like? The Scoop, scoop Mobiles, right? Yeah, there we go. They close like that. Reported to be a million dollars a piece. I wonder if that's totally true. Okay, here we go. You guys are my navigators. So if anyone sees Everything's trouble, converging into the center of the United States. Uh -oh. Is that where we that's are right there? Right. It's Area 52. Oh my goodness. It's Ravage. He's after the Allspark. Okay, so right there. one attraction right to the next, head on to Revenge of the Mummy again, still holding at 75 minutes, and unfortunately, like I always tell you guys, I can't bring you on. But I have a few uh, vlogs where I actually showed off the queue line, so if you do want to see that, there is that. So I'll try to link that for you guys. But yeah, I will report afterwards on how my buddy Imhotep is doing. Having fun with number 1131, and I actually got to choose the level I wanted at, which is great. Imhotep. What a guy. So nice to see him. Every time I see him though, he's all like, your soul is mine, blah, blah, blah. And I never see any money. He's always like talking to me, he's like, you're gonna have infinite wealth. Never see it, never get it. It's a frustration to me. It's frustrating. But now, we're moving over to Jurassic World. One thing I was doing, I'll tell you, for the first time ever, I couldn't get back into my locker. If that happens to you, ask one of the team members here. They will help you out. All you have to do is show them your ID afterwards and then it's all good. But these lockers are a bit old, so once in a while they just need to either clean off where you put your finger down, or they just need to help you unlock it. But it happened to me once, so I can prove I've been through it too. I tried it like eight different times. I kept letting people go in front of me, I'm like, just go, it's fine. <laughs> all right, off to Jurassic World, ah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited, I can hear the splashdowns. You can see the backlit sign, it's gorgeous. 90 minutes, it was at 120, holding steady for a while today. It's dropping down. As the sun goes down, time goes down. That's just how Jurassic World functions. The drums. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love the drums. I love them so much. They're so good. They get me so excited. Oh my gosh, here we go, Jurassic World. It is almost time. Hopping on the ride. Sitting in the back row. Thanks to one of the team members for letting me sit in the back. I love it. Oh, look at we go off into the light right now. It's gonna be so good. Oh, here we go. That back row. Look at 
dinosaurs. A vast ocean was home to an explosion of life. At the top of the food chain sat the Mosasaurus, apex predator of the deep. You are clear for entry. back, thank goodness, I heard the footsteps and I was like, yeah. and I was sitting in the perfect spot, if you're in the left like side as far over as possible and Dominus is going to be literally right over your head and Dominus, I love it I love it so much, I love it and there you go everybody, that's a little bit of a bite-sized version, a little bit of a quicker vlog as it were, I appreciate you guys being here today, I really really do I appreciate you guys who've been liking and commenting all that stuff it really helps the channel and the algorithm and stuff out. So if you want to do that and help the channel on Freeway, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. Also, a huge thank you to the patrons who support me financially. That means the world to me. Thank you so much. You don't have to do any of that. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye. You guys get a little quick bonus bit, though, too. Come on now. You think I wouldn't show a boat or two in this video? Oh yeah. Here they come. The build up. Oh. Oh. So good. Yeah. They're having a good time. Alright. Bye everybody.